Okay, so he's not wasting any time. This isn't Bubba, this is a hillbilly. And he was not wasting any time. But I struggle to see the person on the hook half the time. Oh, they're in the basement. Well then, off to a good start, I see. You want to get healed down here? You think that's a wise decision? I don't know about that. I feel like he's going to come right back here and get us both. There you have it. What do you know? He might quit now. I wasn't about to be stuck in the basement like that. Because once he hooked me there, she was going to get slugged and hooked in there, and then it was just going to be... Everything was going to go downhill. Did he quit? Where'd he go? Oh, he's checking lockers. Oh, man. Interesting. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, come on. It's not fair. Alright, fine. I'm gonna let him hook me this time. Yes, I can have any item. Alright, well, he didn't put me in the basement. It's good at least. Maybe someone will get me. What was he doing down there looking in the lockers? I didn't even do the Houdini tech on him. This guy's got three hooks already. Let's go. Time to do gens. He's good with his saw. DVD Fortnite. Well, I don't always use the hacks to the full potential. Like, I'm trying to let the killer have fun, you know? I'm not trying to. Oh, I should have just picked her. I couldn't pick her up. Never mind. See ya. You can't catch me. <laughs> I think he's done. <laughs> I think he's done. I don't know. Let's see. Is he done? I just did that right in his face. No! <laughs> you got DS, bro. You can't. <laughs> no! You hit the wrong person. <laughs> it's my lag, man. It's just my lag. 
It's all my leg. You can't keep up with my leg. No, it's my leg. Can't keep up with this leg. No, he got me. <laughs> he big brain me. I'm in trouble now. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. One of you has to farm me. You gotta be fully healthy. Quick! No, don't. Ah, uh, didn't want them to pop the last gen. All right, you guys gotta heal up and just farm me. He's gonna use his saw. You better watch out. There you go. Take it. Oh no! Why would you come injured? You had to be healed. Oh boy, this is bad. Yeah, I don't know, not looking good. Somebody's got to just come in here and get me. Like, two people need to come at the same time. No, you can't let him saw you! No, you can't let him saw you! <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, Bill. Do it, Bill! I'm dead. Too late. See? You don't use the hacks to their full ability. That's what happens. It all backfires. There you have it. Proof that the game is a uh, it is winnable for the killer he's gonna let them all go he just wanted me which is fine because what would have happened at the end anyway I would have ended up killing myself well, that was one way to get them all out because they don't know what to do, I told you. They're not like at top MMR swift, like ex super experienced survivors. They're not making the, the best decisions. Like they're trying, but they're not making the right decisions. What needed to happen was all of them had to be had needed to be healed up and they all needed to come in together from different angles at the same time. And someone distracts and someone runs and tries to get the unhook if they get hit they either go ahead and just get the unhook and whatever or they run away and someone else gets the unhook during the cooldown like it had to be more coordinated not the injured person comes up and just gets whacked and then the next person comes up and gets sawed and then the other person hesitates and doesn't even want to go like it all had to be done together because he has a chainsaw. But he was good. Like, he knew what he was doing. He was not a baby Billy. And it's fine. Because the end result would have been the same anyway. They would have escaped. And I would have ended up just dying for him anyway. It just got done faster that way. I was face camera, I was watching them from across the room from PD because I thought they were. Fang will never heal or listen. Ah, uh, I don't know what Fang's doing. Like, I, I think Fang is on a switch, and. I think that maybe she's not as experienced and just playing for fun and doesn't always know like this game is all about like split second decision making pretty much it's like looking at the situation that you're in and deciding what is the best thing I can do and hoping that you do the right thing and then also the your opponent be it the killer or wh whether your killer or the survivor is also doing the same thing they're like looking at the situation what is the best thing i can do 
should I slug this person? Should I camp this hook? Should I go kick this gen to stop it from regressing? Like the killer has to decide all these things in their head at the moment. What is the best thing for me to do? The survivors have to also do the same thing. The difference is the killer is one person and they can, you know, decide for themselves. And if they choose right, they choose right. And if they mess up, it's on them. But the survivors are a team and they have to all work together. So if three people are doing the right thing and one person does the wrong thing, that could easily result in liter literally, why do I always stutter when I say literally? It can literally result in everybody getting killed if one person just does the wrong thing. Like me there, I ended up getting hooked a second time. I got yoinked off the uh, the window. Like if I really wanted to just be scummy, I would have just used my hacks and zipped away. But like like I said, I'm not trying to hack to the max where I'm like, I'm still giving the killer a chance. Like, yes, I'm manipulating things, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not trying to make it impossible for the killer to win. Like he, he played it well. He did. He was very slick. He played it well. He made the right decisions. He wanted to kill me and he killed me and he let them go. Which is what probably would have happened anyway. Had I like, I would have to keep making them wiggle off. I'd have to be flying through the air and all that stuff. And then in the end, I'd probably just go sacrifice myself like I've been doing like the past 10 games in a row.